This episode of Film Rights brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. Today we're getting into some Star Wars action. But first, a few of my ramblings because of your questions. So technically they did this to themselves, didn't they? Didn't they, Bruno? They did. What's up, Ryan? What's your favorite sketch that you ever made? D Does losses count as a sketch? Or that's like sort of separate thing? Because it wasn't really yeah. a short film. We just did it really quick, sort of, sort of film right sketch esque. Yeah. It did have a little more. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna put losses in that category because I don't see losses as a standalone short film like Tell. So I'm gonna say losses. I'm gonna say the war sketch because I, I just love shooting actiony type stuff. And I don't know anything involving Emily. Can I say that? Sure. Anything involving Emily. When will the Blu-rays be shipped out? Ry Ry Pizza. We did have a bit of a hiccup that slowed us down just a little bit. We finally found a company that's gonna be printing the Blu-rays. I wanted to get the highest quality possible for you guys. I did not want to skimp in any way. I wanted to make sure that the behind the scenes features were fantastic and that it looked really, really great. I did not want this to come out even a little bit meh for you guys. So it has taken a little longer than we thought, but it should be shipping at the very end of July or the first week of August. It's out for duplication now, so it's currently out of our hands. Once we get it back, we'll be shipping it freaking immediately. Do you feel with hard work anyone can become a filmmaker or is there a natural talent to it, especially with directing and some people just simply don't have it? That's a very good question. That's like nature or nurture, but not at all. But a little bit, but not. I don't know. I think if you have a passion for anything, you can achieve that thing. If you're truly, truly passionate, because passion is not liking something or wanting to do something as a hobby. Passion is living for that thing, eating, sleeping, breathing that thing. As I always say, passion is you'd rather live under a bridge than not do that thing. And if, yeah, if you're passionate to that level, I think you can achieve anything that you wanna achieve, because that means you're gonna be dedicated to that thing 24 seven. So if you are indeed passionate, yes, I think anybody can be a filmmaker, but I think most people don't actually have that level of passion. It's more of a, a love for it, not necessarily, it's not necessarily a passion for it. Does that make sense? Does that answer the question? I think that makes sense. Okay. Hey Ryan, have you tried Element 3D yet? And if so, what do you think about it? I have, I have it. I bought it the friggin' second it came out and it's blowing my mind. I haven't said this before, I don't think, on the show, but I really think this is opening up a whole new avenue for people like us. I really do think it's groundbreaking for the independent community. I mean, I'm doing 3D inside of After Effects. I think it's going to open up the doors on a lot of visual effects stuff that we couldn't do before without someone like Stark, uh, who's immensely talented, and the stuff is extremely time consuming. The stuff that I was able to do the other day would have taken, well, which was just basic text treatment, but it would have taken Stark a full day to do I did it in 10 minutes. So I, as I, I praise Video Copilot often and I will continue with this one. It's freaking amazing. So if you're setting up a website for a business or a blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. Domain.com makes it easy to get your domain name up and running. You can blog, create a website, showcase a portfolio, make money on the intranets. There's a lot that you can do and the guys over at Domain.com wanna hook you up with 15% off when you get your domain name or web hosting by using the coupon code FILMRIOT when you're checking out at Domain.com. So don't forget, use the coupon code FILMRIOT and when you think domain names, think Domain.com. We're back with another Monday challenge. This time it's all Star Wars effects and a lot of people send in a lot of cool stuff. Without further ado, cool stuff. <laughs> Oh. Oh. How am I going to explain that to my children? 
galaxy is fighting. Fighting each other. Fighting ourselves. It's the battle between good and evil. But when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter what side you want to fight for. The only thing that matters is who you really are. Nothing else. So there you go, some really, really great submissions. And some of those visual effects looked freaking great. Seriously. Really, really great. I love, I don't know, I'm a sucker for lightsaber effects. They're always cool, always. So great job, everybody. But now on to the next Monday challenge, which this time we're doing slow motion. Now there's a lot of ways to do slow motion. You can actually do it in camera if you have that, but there's actual ways to do it in post to make it look really good. And there's actual ways to do it in camera that are even used in major Hollywood films. And we show how to do all of them in this episode right here. So check it out and uh, I'll go through all that for you in the past, in a past episode. So you can actually, I think we have two different episodes. Okay. So it's this episode here and this episode here. You like that? That's impressive. So uh, it's due, what is it, August 4th, 4th, right? August 4th, 12 p.m. CST to Bruno's Twitter or Facebook. Get your motion, slow motion on. And as always, this needs to be, what it was, say about 30 seconds. 30 seconds long. This can be to a larger short film that you can put on your channel, but what you send us needs to be 30 seconds long. If it is any longer than 30 seconds, it will be disqualified, uh, but you can link that 30 second one to the main one. That way, if you win, it can go right to uh, the full short film. Uh, I think that's a cool way to do it. Yeah, that way absolutely. we can still, and it's not like, and it works, it works, trust us, it works. So, August 4th, slow motion, 12 p.m. CST, uh, and that's gonna be, what, um, uh, Monday challenge, slow motion. Slow slow there you go, Bruno's Twitter, Bruno's Facebook. Get your, get your game on. So that's the end, which means it's time for my short film suggestion of the week, and this one I am actually pretty excited. I thought it was pretty freaking awesome. It's described as a love letter to uh, the Punisher comic by the director who also directed uh, Gridiron Gang, surprisingly enough. It's a 10 minute Punisher short film that actually went out of its way to avoid any legal issues by titling itself uh, Dirty Laundry, not ever saying Punisher within the, the um, the short film itself, but it stars Thomas Jane, who played the Punisher in the, I guess you could say the best Punisher film yeah, yet, yeah. but sort of, I guess, by you know default, because all the other ones were horrendous. Ron Perman shows up with a strange mustache situation. <laughs> but overall, it was, I thought, fantastic. Little warning, it is graphically violent. If that offends you, don't watch it. But it was great. Check it out right here especially if you like The Punisher. It was shot for, I mean, next to nothing. I guess they did it with mostly favors. Um, I guess the director's friends with everybody involved and they just went out and did it as basically fans, which I think it's always cool when you see like the, the heavy pros making fan yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That just shows, I, I really hope this guy makes a Punisher movie because I thought the short was great. But anyway, go check it out. But that's it. So get to work on the next Monday challenge. Get some sexy, sexy slow motion on. And I'll see you guys on Thursday.